welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about how to download and install PyCharm on Windows 10 operating system as a first step go to any of your browser so I'm going here for Google Chrome and click and type here the Google as PyCharm so here you can see the official website that is jetbrains.com and it is PyCharm and click this and here you can see the jetbrains.com slash PyCharm so this is the official page where you can download the PyCharm and once if you click that website and if the page is open and here you can see the download button just click this download so once if you click this download it moves to the download page where you can see windows mac os and linux so as we are going to download for the windows click windows which is a default one and here you can see two options that is professional and community as a students or a programmer so we will be using this free open source which is not a paid one you don't need to pay anything in case if you wanted for a paid one you should go for this professional as of now we are going to use this community edition and click download and once if you click download you can see it asks for the save and I am saving it in the desktop and click save and which is around 364 MB now the download is completed so I'll minimize the browser and and in the desktop you can see that PyCharm community is been downloaded and just double click that icon so it asks for the permission of and click S yes. and here you can see PyCharm community edition setup so this is the welcome page and first click next and here you can see the destination folder which is a default one like C program file JetBrains PyCharm community edition 2001.1 so I'll be leaving this as a default and then click next and the space required is around 932.1 MB and click next and here you can see the installation option that is to create any desktop shortcut for 64-bit launcher and I'll be creating that so I'll be selecting the 64-bit launcher and here you can see update context menu that is add open folder as project if you want and here you can create associations for pu.py file for example if there is any python file.py if you wanted to open that in pycharm you can click that one and I'm leaving this as a default and then click next and then install now the PyCharm installation setup has been completed and here you can see uh, the completing PyCharm community edition setup so this varies according the time varies according to the system configuration and if you wanted to run it you can see the shortcut has been created in the desktop or if you click this run and click finish it will be opening the PyCharm community edition so the first time you'll be seeing the user agreement PyCharm user agreement which is by JetBrains community edition terms and you can just scroll down here and you can see it and then you can click this checkbox I confirm that I have read and accept the terms and conditions of this and click and then click continue and here you can see if you wanted to share your information you can send click send anonymous statistic or if you don't need you can click this don't send
and now you can see welcome to PyCharm and here you can select new project or open so let as the first time we'll be clicking new project and here you can see it asks for the location here you can see it asks for the location so the, the, the PyCharm was installed on C program files but here you can see the projects that we run it will be in this folder that is users folder your system name PyCharm projects folder and here you can create your project name for example I'll be creating this as hello world and I'll be using this virtual environment as a default one and you can see the location and you can see the base interpreter where it is available and then click create so here you can see the tip of the day if you don't want to if show this you can click this tone show tips in case if you need it you can uncheck it and you can see the tips so for me I don't require this so I'll be clicking this don't show tips and be clicking close As a first time you can see the virtual environment is creating and also updating the python interpreter and now you can see here in the left side the project folder you can see the hello world which we created and that here you can see main.py if you wanted to create create new file and name it as hello world dot py and here you can see the hello world dot py has been created and now we will check with some default print statement print hello world and now you can just save it as by clicking ctrl s and then just right click here and you can see run file and just click this run file and now in the console you can see this output has been printed as hello world welcome to JP infotech if you wanted you can click this run file or here you can see the button for running run hello world just click it and now you can see hello world welcome to JP Infotech and this tutorial ends with this installation of PyCharm community version in Windows 10 operating system and let us meet in other tutorial thank you